I had the pleasure of teaching at a Trout Unlimited camp for youth, and it was amazing. When I was preparing and thinking about how to teach 15 students who had never tied streamers before, I decided to teach five flies that would get progressively more complicated, introducing new materials and techniques so the students would learn, have fun, and at the end have some kick-ass flies. Well, I was blown away at how well everyone did, and so I decided to share so anyone can learn how to tie streamers. So without further ado, let's get tying. All right, so let's get tying. We're gonna start with a Daiichi 2460, size number six. And I'm using my Vivas 100 thread, and I'm just laying down a quick base. So first thing we're gonna do is make the bottom part of the tail. I'm gonna use some ice dub in UV pearl. And I'm just gonna grab out about 15, 20 fibers or so. I'm gonna use about 75% right out the tail. 20, 25% out the front and just fold it back and then walk right back down beyond the barb so the flash is going out the back. Okay, the entire top of this fly is gonna be tied with marabou. So we're gonna use white. And I've got a plume that I've already pulled out here and I'm just gonna grab about a quarter inch or so of the material. So I'm just gonna grab out about a quarter inch. And that actually looks a little too fluffy, so I'm going to do a little less. Strip it off. I'm going to lay it out, and I want the length to be a little bit longer than the length of the hook itself. So I'm just going to lay it right on top of that flash. Come over once, twice, nice and loose. Make sure everything sits on top, come down tight, and then go in front just to secure everything in place. Cut it off. And I'm just going to come right back, right on top of it. Okay, now as far as the lateral line for this one, we're going to use a little bit of pink. So this is Ice Dub in UV Pink. I'm just going to grab out some material. I'm going to lay down that dubbing. And I'm just going to go up to the halfway mark. So I'm just wrapping up the hook itself. Trying to maintain some consistency in the size. It doesn't have to be perfect. And going right up to about the halfway mark. All right. That looks good right there. So next, I'm going to do the belly again. I'm going to use my Ice Dub and UV Pearl. And I'm going to grab out about 30 to 40 different fibers. You can see it's about a quarter inch of a pinch of materials. And I'm going to go 50-50 on this. I'm going to pull it underneath and go straight up. What I'm doing is I'm creating a cup with the material itself, going straight up onto the bottom, and then I'm going to wrap over a couple times. And what you can see is as that will lay back, that'll create a belly, especially when you get in the water it'll create that nice uh, translucent belly. As far as the back, I'm going back to my marabou in white, and I've still got my plume that I used a little bit, and I'm just gonna grab a little bit more than I had before, and I had less than a quarter of an inch, so I'm gonna start with about a quarter inch worth of material that I just pulled off, and I'm gonna lay it on the back. It looks like I'm gonna need a couple more feathers, but I'm just gonna quick secure these into position, make sure they're up top. And what I'm doing is I'm comparing this amount of material with what I just laid down. Again, what I'm always trying to do is create more of a taper and to create additional materials. So, Lay those down, materials on top. I'm just gonna trim that off and just do a quick reality check to take a look at the total amount. Looks good, not too much. 
And now I'm just going to make my lateral line and I'm going to use that ice dub in UV pink. Again, trying to maintain about the same amount that I did before. So I've got it dubbed on there and I'm just going to wrap forward. And I'm going to leave myself about a hook eyes length of empty hook in front. It looks good and I want to create again that belly so I'm going to grab my UV ice dub in pearl. Grab a little bit more than I did last time. And again I'm going to do a 50-50 break and just bring my thread right directly underneath, fold it over, pinch it so it cups, lay it right down on the bottom, come around in front, fold everything back and then wrap right on top. And again, you can see how it creates that nice belly. Again, with the white marabou, I'm gonna grab a little bit more. And I'm gonna double check. As far as the tips, I want them to go about halfway back. That looks about right. Couple loose wraps, make sure everything's on top. Come down, pull back, come in front. And I'm gonna trim. And now I'm gonna double check. And it looks like I need a little bit more. No big deal. I'm just gonna go back to my plume. I'm gonna grab another quarter inch worth of materials here. Lay it on top, get it about equal. Come on top, two loose wraps. Make sure everything's on top. And I'm just going to wrap a couple right in front. Trim those materials right off. And what I'm trying to do is avoid getting that marabou that I just laid down. So looks like I got one straggler which I can just pop off right there. Okay, I'm just gonna grab my super glue. So my zap and gap. Hit the thread, got about a quarter of an inch there. And I'm just gonna wrap up and wrap everything into place. All right. So that's the back part of this fly because we are doing an articulated fly. So next thing I'm gonna do is grab my mono. This is Orvis, this is 20 pound. And I've just cut off about a four inch section. I'm just gonna go right through and create just a little bit of a kink by pulling forward on it and leaving it like that. So that takes care of the back part and the connection. Okay. So let's do the uh, front part. So we're gonna do a Daiichi 2460 size number four. And on there you can see I've got a tungsten bead and that's in a size 3 16 You can also choose to tie it without. As far as the thread, I've got my Vivas 100 gel spun. And I'm just wrapping back all the way to the tip of the hook there. I'm going to grab my back section of the fly and I'm going to try and align where I got that little bit of, uh, of a kink in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right along the side of the hook trying to keep the tips of the mono aligned side to side. So what I do is I hit it nice and loose originally it's lined up and then I start to increase the tension and what I want to leave is about two or three different eye lengths off of the back there for the articulation so everything's aligned looks good I'm gonna wrap forward here and it's okay if it wraps back around it's no big deal and I'm just bending that mono back right on over itself. And as we get closer to the tail end here, I'm gonna 
clip it off. And then I'm going to continue to wrap down to get that articulation and that gap right where I want it. And you can see there's just about two to three eye lengths here. So that's perfect. And what I'm going to do just to keep everything into position, I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of zap -a gap This is zap -a gap thin. And then the nice thing about it, and you can use any super glue, is it just tends to bleed through nice and quick. Okay, so back to our lateral line. I'm going to grab my ice dub in UV pink, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ball. And all I'm going to do is dub. And I'm just creating and using the same amount of dubbing that I did before, except this time I'm not going to move forward. I'm going to stay within that back quarter inch. And what you can see there is I've created a ball. And what I've learned is that by creating that ball, as I put my belly material on, right, the Ice Dub UV Pearl, that ball keeps it from going directly onto that rear shank, which improves the articulation. All right, so I've grabbed out about double the amount that we had on the back, and I'm gonna do the same thing with a 50-50 mix. Again, the tips do not have to be perfect. I've created that cup on the bottom, and just gonna wrap directly back. And so it's basically centered on the body. Now, for the rear, right, for the top, I mean, I'm going to continue to use my white marabou except i'm going to grab another plume because that stuff looks a little thin and i'm going to take off the junk at the the bottom at least on the top it did not look good this bottom stuff some of it looks good in fact i'm going to start right with this material here so I'm going to grab about three quarters of an inch because for the majority of the um, back of the fly, I used about a quarter of an inch. And I want the tips of this to go to center on this back hook. So that's about halfway. I'm going to do two loose wraps, make sure everything is in position. It looks good. I'm going to tighten up, come forward going to trim the excess and then I'm going to go right back over top to secure everything into location. Okay, next we're going back to the lateral line. Ice dub, UV pink. And I'm going to go right up the center, right to the halfway mark. And just putting that material right on like we've done once already today. A little bit more. All right, that looks good. Next, I'm grabbing my Ice Dub UV Pearl. Again, grabbing a fair amount here, pinching, going underneath, I've created that cup, go right on the bottom, got it wrapped in there, looks good, back to my white marabou, and I'm going to grab a little bit more, and just kind of keep track in your, your head as you're doing this with the amount of material that you pull off. And as far as aligning, you want it to go halfway on that last amount of material that you laid down. So a couple loose wraps, make sure it's up on top, come in front a couple times to secure it into place, right over top. That looks really good. Just gonna double check, make sure we got the amounts right. It looks like it could actually use a little bit more Again, I want that taper to build as we move forward. And 
it's really easy to do while it's on the hook. You can also do it by laying it down and checking it. But just for speed today, I'm just doing it visually. All right, and that looks really good. Back to my lateral line, and this time we're gonna go all the way up. top but that's okay the ice dub kind of eats up whatever thread wraps you put in the way and now for the belly what I'm going to use is some laser dub in white just going to grab out pinch a little bit more than what we've used with the ice dub pearl same idea 50 50 split come underneath create that cup Pull it under and just wrap it into place. We'll worry about trimming in a minute. And now it's time for the top part or the final piece of the marabou. So I'm gonna grab about one inch worth, right? Cause we did a quarter, we did a half, we did about three quarters. So I know I wanna have more. And I'm gonna go right on the top I want the total amount to go half the distance across the top here. That looks really good. And I'm just gonna come over top, make sure that it aligns, make sure I don't mess with that bottom. Pull gently down on the back. Now come in front, one, two, pull tight. Everything still looks good and aligned. And I'm going to double check the amount. Looks a little light, so I'm going to go back to my marabou again. And I'm going to grab about another half inch worth of materials. And it's going to depend on your plume, how much you pull off and what kind of taper you create. But ultimately, again, you want the most materials to be at the front to create that taper. So going in front a couple times, making sure my marabou is up top. And that's it. I'm just gonna trim that off. Looks good. And now for the final touch, I'm gonna grab a little bit more of my ice dub UV pink and just go right around. I'm gonna dub. Just going to wrap right at the head. And the challenge here is to keep your materials in place. So just take a minute, make sure your materials are top and bottom, that they look, look good. And now I'm just going to grab my Zappa Gap Super Glue, brush about half an inch worth. Just wrap everything in place, cut it off. I'm gonna hit this with a little piece of Velcro just to kind of pull everything out. It's really cool how it all blends together. And obviously the marabou we can't trim, but the rest of the fly we're definitely gonna trim. to create that taper. So across the bottom, I'm just gonna go at an angle back. So basically going from the top of the hook here, angling to the bottom to create that nice minnow taper. And then when this gets wet, what'll happen is it'll all fold back off. And 
And that's it for fly number four. Hope that helps you out.